as the high cost of living is the main agenda which is disturbing Kenya Kwanza in the real reality sense of thinking. But there is also doubt that Kenyans were expecting the court boss to dodge in and help them on this situation where they are now. But we are seeing Francis Atoli slams Kenyans blaming William Ruto over the high cost of living and saying that we must accept. He seems to defend William Samuel Ruto's government. Last month ago, I did, I think two months ago, sorry, I did this analysis and asked you ladies and gentlemen, if is there any probability for William Samuel Ruto to help Kenyans to succumb this situation when it's come to high cost of living as the first agenda priority. And I said the answer is possible. It is yes up to now as I am speaking. What matters a lot is that the head of state must also consider that there are those who are there with him to loot money and forget Kenyans who elected him during election. And in today's analysis, we want to ask ourselves why is Atoli defending still the government on the high cost of living? And the head of state is very much aware of this. Before I do that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this golden chance to welcome you on this afternoon hour at our YouTube platform. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you well wherever you are kindly. Consider to watch our videos. Consider to subscribe. Consider to like and also give us your opinion at the comment section below as you share to your friends, relatives and family Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel if this might be your first time watching me at Zion Analysis YouTube channel. And to the members, I want to be very much grateful because you are really doing a great job. May you keep on going with the same spirit. Let's proceed. This is what Francis Atwoli is saying, ladies and gentlemen. People are crying about the cost of living. Some are complaining that we voted for William Ruto. But President William Ruto made it clear during the campaigns that Kenya will, will be built by Kenyans, Atwoli said. So it is upon you, Kenyans, to ensure that you have made it, not the president. That is what Atwoli is trying to say for you to understand and learn it from victory. He carried on by saying, the long-serving court boss said Kenyans must understand that the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance administration is in place until 2027 and even up to 2032. <laughs> we must accept for him to implement his government. There are some situations that you can't change. It's either five years or ten years constitutionally. You can't change he added. So if it is the high cost of living, Atwoli is trying to say that it can even take five years. So sad. Or even ten years. So I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, don't expect anything from William Samuel Ruto. That is what the court boards have just informed us. Because you cannot tell me that this high cost of living is hectic to William Samuel Ruto's administration. Yet, its budget, only traveling budget for presidential uh, uh, budget, sorry, even going to Dubai, for instance, cost him millions of money. I don't want even to uh, have a good example with the president. Let's come down uh, to MPs. MPs spend a lot of money. Right now they are uh, at the coastal region enjoying the cool breeze with the Kenyan's taxes and the government is allowing them. Yet this is the same same MPs 
I th I saw some people, some of them defending this, some of them were against this. We are the one who should also take this serious with caution and ensure that Kenyans are no longer suffering again. You know the dictatorship time is now over. Why is Kotobos is bringing on this? Is telling us that some some uh, changes can take even five years. I'm majorly dwelling on the high cost of living, which you have just said. One is that a truly is confused as the labor Kotobos. Number two, he don't understand himself. Then number three is afraid is a man with no integrity who can stand for Kenyans and say no even during Uru's time how he used to condemn William Savoy Ruto. And the same thing at we recall it was with the current opposition during campaigns. Why today is coming and saying some issues to be solved with the government can take five to ten years. How is cost of living hectic to the government? How is it is it effective when you just come in public address and say tomorrow the flour will cost 120 shillings? How is it harmful? Or you come in public and say sugar one kg can be purchased at 150. Is it, it is possible, very possible, because our country is blessed as resources. They are the ones who don't want to uh, close these cartels, the so-called themselves cartels, who just squander government's money, who just squander taxes, who takes bribe. Then the court boss comes in public and defending the Kenya Kwanzaa government. So it is upon you Kenyans to decide. This is very sad and uh, actually we don't expect this. We were expecting and these are the people who are now discouraging Ruto. Even if he had much time to dwell on this, as you have said, remember, as I have displayed. Some even take five years. So it means Ruto can even finish his five terms and nothing to have been done. Just talking, news, traveling, this and that. Yes, the same. Making them to relax. That is what the court boss Leva is, is, is saying. What can you say on this, ladies and gentlemen? Where are we heading to? That is the big question we ought to ask ourselves. With me, I'm seeing this danger ahead. And Kenyans, you must be uh, strong on this. I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below. For now, that is what I had. Kindly stay still, stay tuned at our YouTube platform. Watch our videos, subscribe, and also share to your friends relatives and family may you have a peaceful afternoon or a fantastic afternoon as we hope for the best in this afternoon bye bye ladies and gentlemen that is what i had and be blessed